So my creative crushes were um, the cast and crew of Beverly Hills 90210 because I love the show so much. They were such great characters. Um, I think being from L.A., I really related to, you know, high school and, and all the drama that was going on and just enjoyed watching it. Um, and then uh, literature, Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison was the first book that made me go like, oh, books, like you can disappear into books. And, um, and actually, if I think I've read that in the 11th grade and subsequently became an English major at Columbia along with film studies. So it, that, that really had a, that book had a, a huge impact on me. Uh, you know, I, I used to have a writing process kind of where I would go to a cafe and I would sit there and I, I had to be a cafe where I could get food because I noticed when I go to a coffee shop and I get hungry, I'd say, well, I'm done for the day. I'm hungry. <laughs> so I would, I would go somewhere where I could get food and I would write for 45 minutes and then uh, spend the 15 minutes left in the hour online doing the procrastination. That would be my little break or go to the bathroom. And then I'd start again on the hour. Uh, and, and some days, you know, I might get eight pages done. Some days I would get one page done. But I really tried to set the routine and train myself. And, you know, as I became a writer, like my profession, um, you know, you're kind of, it's not even about being in the mood. It's, it's kind of like someone saying, you, we need this in an hour. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I, what, I, what I do try to do, though, is um, really just make, the time and the space if I can. And that time and space can be any time. It has been at 2 p.m., it's been at 2 a.m., it's been in my office at home, it's been in my office on a production, it's been on set in the chair. Um, and I just tune, you know, tune people out. Uh, I worked on a show that was more genre based and I, so I wasn't as comfortable writing that, but I realized I needed to get in the mood so I downloaded the Game of Thrones soundtrack, which because I did like Game of Thrones and and it was like, dun, 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 dun. And I was like, okay, I'm ready to, get, to go into this world. So sometimes I do that. And, and then there, I, there are sometimes I would listen to songs uh, that I wanted to have in my show, which would help inspiration and help me go, oh, yes, okay, now I know what the scene needs to be because I know the song that's going to be playing. So, you know, it really, uh, it really depends. But I really do try to be open creatively uh, if that means, you know, taking a walk listening to an audiobook, whatever it is, sometimes you need to cleanse um, your palate, if you will, in order to be able to be creative. My favorite spot on campus, uh, and this was freshman year, but it still kind of the other years, was JJ's place. Um, I just, it felt like I was on Say by the Bell or something where, <laughs> you know, it was open late night and people would be in their pajamas almost, you know, going downstairs, getting chicken tenders and fries. Um, and that, that made me happy and I didn't have to, I, I lived in John Jay, so I didn't have to leave my dorm, especially when it got cold because I'm from Los Angeles and it was very cold in Columbia. Um, and late night spot, Tom's restaurant was, you know, I, I obviously I knew it from Seinfeld. So <laughs> I thought that was just cool that, you know, you just go to Seinfeld restaurant, you know, whenever, um, I love their grilled cheese and tomato and I still remember it, it warms my heart. Um, and it would either be that and then coronets, just a big old delicious cheap slice of pizza. You can see I was ruled by food, um, very much so. Um, and then the other place that came later was there's this, um, this uh, DVD video store that had um, like all different kind of random films that you could rent out and it was organized by director, which was, I thought, so pretentious, but in a way that I loved, because I was like, mm, I know the directors and I'd find it, because uh, I was a film major as well. So yeah, you know, I just, uh, food and film, I guess, were my favorite spots <laughs> to be at Columbia.